Okay guys, um, I was asked by a number of people to uh, do a uh, video on how to load a, a smoothbore and you know some shots, um, shot patterns or, or different loads or what have you. So I'm going to do a short little uh, video today on that. But uh, to be honest with you, I'm kind of cheap uh, with prices the way they are right now. Um, I can't afford to shoot a lot and I'm just not really the type to go out and shoot a lot. So I'm probably not going to shoot that much. I'll talk about the loads. I've kind of found a load that I use for uh, all my hunting. So far it's worked great and I see no reason to change it. Um, excuse the, the wind today. It's really windy out here today and I don't know how much the camera is going to pick that up. But um, Right now my smoothbore um, and my smoothbore is a Fuzi Vichas uh, 62 caliber and I can shoot a shot out of it and round ball of course and uh, currently it's loaded from turkey season and I have it loaded in a modern fashion um, to be honest with you most of the time when it comes to turkey hunting I, I, I load it in a modern fashion just because um, I want to be sure that I have the best shot um, when it comes to, to shooting at an animal. Um, I want to do some more experimenting with um, period loads, which I will a little bit today. But basically uh, what I have is um, I'm loaded with 75 grains of powder and people are going to ask me what kind of powder I have and to be honest I don't know. That sounds stupid but I was in the Civil War reenacting and I bought a bulk, like 25 pounds of powder, and it's it's really big grains. Um, and for some reason on the packaging, it does not have the, the grain um, on it. So I, I'm not sure what it is. It's pretty big, and people kind of look at me weird when I show them my powder, but it works. And that's what's important. Um, I also use the same powder for... Um, to prime as I do loading. I, I prime out of my, my powder horn and I just use my um, the plug on my powder horn here to just just mash it up a little bit. Um, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It works great. Um, and so uh, that's, that's the way I load. So guys, after I put the powder down the barrel I w uh, as far as modern, this is the modern load that I have in it right now. I'm showing you how it's loaded. Uh, on top of the powder, I put this little uh, over powder card. And this is the package it comes in. Then on top of that, I put in this thick fiber wad. And then the shot goes over top of that. And then over top of the shot is just a small, thin card. Um, I, I dent it with my thumb like this because by the time that all that stuff's in there, it's, uh, you create an air vacuum in there. And so I just I do that to let some air in there as you, as you push this down over top of the shot. And that's how it's currently loaded. We'll set up a target here and give her a shot and see what happens. Guys, I did forget to mention that I'm shooting it right at 20 yards. Um, with all my shooting today, that's about what I'm going to do. I don't like to go much over 20 yards uh, when I'm hunting. Okay guys, as you can see, um, it's a pretty wide pattern here. Hopefully you can see this. I just drew a turkey head the, the size what I thought a turkey head would be. Uh, the black dots where I aimed. As you can see there's a lot of pellets in the head neck area and a lot out around. So that's what the modern load 
And next we're going to try uh, a more traditional round and just compare the two and see what happens. Okay guys, um, I find every time after I shoot, at least the first time for some reason, I get a lot of condensation in my um, pan here and there's, you know, some of that powder flash and stuff gets on the, the flint. So I just take a rag and I wipe off the edge of that flint just to get any moisture or, or residue off of there. And then I just wipe out the pan real good to keep moisture from getting into my next uh, priming or load. Just make sure it's good and dry and cleaned up. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the actual loading uh, part. And we're gonna be using a uh, shot again. And by the way, you can use um, this same method for loading round ball. I'm not gonna go into the round ball today um, because it's, it's the same process pretty much. So here I have an elk antler uh, powder measure that's measured right for me, my 75 grains. So we just simply fill up that baby. Up, kind of even with this lip. Pour in there. I give it a little stop or two to just kind of help settle that down in there. Now what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to use some uh, some bees nest. I was up in Minnesota. Uh, last year with uh, Nathan Jeffrey of Nathan uh, Nathan Jeffrey's channel on YouTube you all might know about it and we found a big bees nest this is part of that or a wasp nest so I'm just gonna take just enough to make a little wad to put on top of that powder Just kind of wad it up. Ram that home. Come to think of it, on top of the powder, it's gonna, it's, this is gonna act as a over powder card and a wad. So I'm actually gonna put in some more just to make a little thicker wad. About the same again. Tamp it in there pretty good so it's good and snug over top of that powder. Next comes the shot. I have a little antler shot measure here. I believe I'm terrible at this, but I believe it's about an ounce and three quarter ounce seven eight something like that I don't remember exactly and my shot guys uh, when I was back when I was looking for shot I couldn't find number fours which is what I would prefer this is a mix of seven and eight it's kinda small but I've killed a number of turkeys with it um, seems to work so. so that goes over the bees nest wad And then just a uh, just a thin layer of more uh, wasp nest over top of that, just to hold the shot in place. I'm not going to put in a big wad, just enough to keep the shot from coming out of the barrel uh, if I am walking around with it. That's pretty much it guys. Uh, the round ball, like I said, would be the same. Put your powder down. Uh, if you're going traditional, you could use the bees nest wad like I did on top of the powder. Roll a, roll a ball down the barrel. Or you could patch the ball, whichever you prefer. Um, if it's patched, you don't have to put anything on top. But if, it, if you just roll a, a ball down the barrel, which I've done before, put a little more bees nest on top of that ball just to hold it in place. And that's pretty much it. Um, we're going to prime her up and, and let her fly again. 
Guys, something else I forgot to mention, after, after every shot, whenever I load and I put the prime in, I always take my pick and make sure that vent hole in there is open. Make sure there's no obstruction in that little hole to where the spark can get right to your powder. Okay guys, um, I don't see a whole lot of difference in this one. Um, there's still a good amount of BBs in that turkey head. Um, one thing I did notice is that more of the shot seems to be over here on the left side, more so than the right. Not sure what that's about, but at any rate, uh, that turkey would have been uh, dead meat at 20 yards. So, like I said, I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of difference in my loads. Um, that's why I just pretty much stick with what I got or what I've been using. It's worked great for me. But that's just kind of a very simple, uh, basic uh, load there. Okay, guys, um, my SD card's about to run out, and uh, so I'm going to wrap this up. But that it, this is just a very basic, uh, quick little video. Um, smooth bores are very simple. I mean, there's all kinds of different ways that you could load them. Um, what I showed you, you can use that in different ways. Um, kind of the same, you know, put your powder in. Put some kind of wad on top of that, put in your load, um, put something else on top of your load, and you're good to go. Um, if, if you have a smooth bore, they're a lot of fun. Just you got to experiment with them, uh, try different things if you know if you're able to, and uh, go with it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you down the trail on another one.